Hey everyone, it's Michelle the Vegan Hippie and today I am making for you peanut butter bars, chocolate peanut butter bars. They're like uh, kind of like Reese bars. I love Reese cups. Or I did love Reese cups. And uh, this is not my recipe, it's by Nora Cooks. And I've done another recipe of hers, I think back on Valentine's Day I did cookies. Those Valentine cookies I made, that was her recipe. But um, to get started for the bars, there's only five ingredients for these bars too. And uh, to get started, you need one cup of butter, a big saucepan, I'm going to let that melt along with one cup of peanut butter that I have to get ready. Alrighty, now I have one cup of all natural peanut butter, no sugar added, just whatever you like. I'm going to add that to my pan. Let this melt. I've been wanting to do um, some type of peanut butter dessert for a while, like a peanut butter cup type dessert for a while. Oh, excuse me. And then the other day, yesterday, the day before, Nora posted on uh, Instagram these peanut butter bars. So here we are doing them. Oh, it already smells so good. I've made peanut butter balls before, but I recently learned that if you make this type of recipe and add graham cracker crumbs to it, it tastes exactly like a, uh, a Reese's. So, we're going to see. Okay, everything looks pretty melted there. Now we're going to add two cups of powdered sugar. I'm keeping the heat on low just so it's easy to stir. You don't have to, you can take it off. But I just keep it on there because it's easy to stir. Now we're going to add the graham cracker crumbs. This is a cup and a half. Um, if you can't find, if you can find uh, the Nabisco grams, these are vegan. Or you can use, um, oh, there's some Teddy grams that are vegan. The chocolate chip ones, I think, are vegan. You can, those will work too. So, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. Okay. Right, now you're going to uh, put your peanut butter batter into a 9 by 13 parchment lined pan, which I have here. Sorry, it's backwards. Oh my god, it smells just like a Reese's cup. Oh god, it smells so good. Excuse me. I'm just going to spread this out evenly through the pan. Now 
and we're going to put these in the fridge till they set up about an hour or so and then we'll finish them I'll see you back okay, here everyone um, my bars have set up um, I'd actually put them in the freezer for a little bit but one big sheet of peanut butter bars so now we're going to make the topping for it and for that we need one half cup of peanut butter just a little butter I had left over from before We're going to heat that up and uh, it says 12 ounces of chocolate chips but uh, the bag is only 10 ounces so it'll, it'll be and just want to keep this on a medium low heat and keep stirring your chocolate because you'll burn it otherwise or if you're brave enough put it in the microwave or you can use a double broiler which would probably be best but I am super lazy today So it's melting pretty fast. This should only take a couple minutes. I would never have thought to put, for the topping, peanut butter in the chocolate like this. But I know, I know I'm going to love it because peanut butter and chocolate are wonderful together. Who remembers? Uh, those commercials, um, what was it from the 70s or the 80s? Hey, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. You got peanut butter in my chocolate. <laughs> Probably just dated myself. But... Oh well. Okay, I think this is good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I have to clear the counter off. So hold on. Okay. Now we're just going to. Pour the chocolate all over. Spread this evenly. And then we're going to put this back um, in the fridge or the freezer to set it up again. That's the hardest part of this whole process is waiting for fridge time. So I will see you back in a little bit. Okay, my bars are ready. I'm so excited. They're probably uh, a little too frozen, but I'm going to give it a shot. So, um, pop my ear pan like so. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, let's try to cut just a little piece. Oh, I should probably let them thaw a little. I cannot believe that I'm eating a Reese's. This is so damn good. Oh my God. So, I'm gonna let these warm up a little and I'll be back. 
custom saw. Saw. Um, a little bit, about 30 minutes. But they're still. Um, might want to let them uh, saw out just a little more. But I need to get these cut. So that's better. Still breaking, but. I cannot even believe how good these are. If you were a Reese lover, a Reese's lover, you're gonna love these. Oh yeah, see I need to let them sit a little more. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go for now. So um, I hope you guys try this. If you do, um, be sure to tag Nora and me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video. I would appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I forgot. Um, Nora does say these uh, freeze really well. So you make a whole batch and put them in the freezer, which is what I'll be doing. Cause I eat all of these. And Stevie can't have them. She's allergic to peanut butter. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.